Hello my peepers! Welcome to another episode of A Color Along! And today we are doing part two of Whimsical Winter Wonderland for Molly March. I don't know why this is not sticking in here. We will put the plastic sheet and I'm thinking yellows for her dress. Hmm, did we want yellow? Because we're going to do this yellow. Let's do a... Mm. Yeah, we'll do an orange yellow. I got my or classic orange crystal light. Mmm, yummy. Okay. Let's see what we want for colors. We have... Do we want that? Let's go... Let's go with ivory for the base color. Oh, and we're just how is everybody <clears throat> I know I forgot to do a whip Wednesday video this is ivory, and we are using the Arteza pencils. We zoomed in on her dress. I got busy reading a book that I really didn't care for. I read Memoirs of a Dragon Hunter by Katie McAllister. Now, I believe I have not read any of her books before. And I do know that I like the dragon books and dragon shifters and all that. And the storyline was not the problem. The problem was the main character. Okay, I have, I didn't have, she has OCD, had no problem with that, and how she behaved with the OCD. She talked like someone from another planet. She never shut up. She was very obnoxious. I wanted to reach through the book and throw some duct tape on her mouth. It was horrible and I read it because forever gave me the second book to read which just came out and that is Day of the Dragon and I really really wanted to read it but you know I was gonna read it right after finishing memoirs and the only reason I finished memoirs of a dragon hunter was because I was hoping it would get better I I would have given it a two star, but I liked the storyline. And there was no chemistry whatsoever between Ian and Veronica. So, sometime down the road I will read the second book, but at this moment, no, I can't. I can't do it. Okay, let's go in with lemon. <clears throat> so, yeah, I am. Um, I had read the book through the library 
so I'm glad I didn't buy the book. Very disappointed. And then after I did my review on Goodreads, that's when I read the other reviews because I don't like reading a review of a book until after I've read it. And 90% of the reviews all felt the same way. They all gave it two and three stars. There were a few four stars and a few five, but not many and they all felt the same way I did about the main character so now I'm reading the Highlanders Christmas Kiss by Paula Quinn And that's good. I'm like halfway through it. I would have had more, but I fell asleep and took a nap. <laughs> For some reason, I woke up at 3 this morning. I had to let the dog out. There was a reason I got up, but for some reason, I could not fall back to sleep. So I decided to turn on the laptop, check emails and okay what is this one this color is sunflower and then I pulled out the tablet and started reading the Highlanders Christmas Kiss which is good I'm liking it. And my husband's, well, how long has he been at his new job? Almost a year. I think it'll be a year in April. Yep, it'll be a year next month. So he said that tonight. Everybody brings like snacks, dish to pass or something. He said they do it every year. He says he guesses they do it every year at this time. So he asked if I would make my bread bowl for him. So he bought all the ingredients for it and that we needed because I had, I had all the herbs for it. So he did that, bought everything and... I made it this morning because it's spo you're supposed to let it chill for two hours, but it'll chill for almost 12, which is fine. And then around 7.30 tonight, I will hollow out the bread bowl and put it inside of it for him and put the pieces of bread in a plastic bag for him. I don't want to wait till 8.30 because at 8 o'clock is Grey's Anatomy. So I'll be watching that. Speaking of TV, I am down to one less TV show. I've been debating, been debating, been debating, and last night I was watching Riverdale and I got to 30 minutes into it and I said I can't do this anymore this show is ridiculous it is just, I think if they settled on one storyline per season like most TV shows do I would be fine with that but they've got like three things going on and these are teenagers and they're running a casino and a big easy and it's just like I don't know 
It's just ridiculous. And all these these groups I don't know I just I can't I couldn't watch it anymore last night I just was done so I'm like well that'll free up my Wednesdays I'm going back in with Ivory and I know that I just read that this is the last season of Shadow Hunters unless another channel picks them up which I'm surprised, I would be surprised if the CW doesn't pick them up because it's on free form. But it's on the type of show that CW would do. But if they end up do, since they know it's the last season and they do a season finale, even if the CW picks it up, I don't think I will pick it up on the CW. Because as most of you know, I am really trying to get away from TV shows. I do watch The Good Witch on Hallmark. But that's on for a short time. The season is short. And Chesapeake Shores is on Hallmark in, the, in like August. And that's a short season. They're only on for a few weeks. Um, I have not read anywhere where This Is Us is not being picked up. People are saying that, but I have not read it anywhere that it is the last season. So I am not sure if that is true. Okay, I'm going to work on the snowflakes, and I'm going to do them in purples. Just because I want to do... the background I believe in blue so I'm taking my lightest and let's focus on these up here <clears throat> and I'm doing the lightest in I don't know how I should do this yeah I'll do the lightest in the In the center. I know I didn't finish the ruffles on her dress. Um, I'm going to do that in a glitter pen. I didn't want to smear my hand in it right now. So. Oh, and this color is lilac. So what other shows do I watch? I watch Grey's Anatomy. I don't know why she's barking. I just let her out. So... I guess they're renewing it again. I I guess my my feeling is they kind of get stale after a while and I am used to TV shows. You know, they used to do like 6, 7 seasons and now they're doing 14, 15 and after a while it kind of is like what more can they do with this show? Now, Grey's Anatomy, I'm not really getting sick of. I'm just waiting for it to end. Because, I don't know, they just... This is Eggplant. I think that series need to end a little bit sooner than they are. They're dragging them out longer. 
especially when there's so many new ones on that people want to watch. Now me, I don't really want to pick up any new shows. The Hallmark ones I will because they're short. They're only a couple weeks long. And I watch Supernatural, which is also another one. I I love the show, don't get me wrong, but I'm really waiting for that to end. And now they're saying that's coming back again next season. It's like, really? Because how much more can you do with this show? And I know the two actors... really want to continue doing the show because the fans want it I don't know I just I guess I'm getting to the point where I would rather watch movies and YouTube you know, I'd like to color more, and I can color while watching TV shows. Whoops, I messed that up. I didn't want to bring that out to here. Oh well, I'll go over it with the other color. I like doing color alongs and I like watching YouTube videos. You know, the coloring videos, I'd like more time to support the color tubers. You know, I'm a huge reader and that takes, that's time consuming. Okay, what's this color? Okay, and this is lavender. So, yeah, I really want to focus more on the coloring videos. I like coloring along with what everybody's coloring even if they don't call out their colors. I still like to color along with everybody. And if they are just color in chats, I can color one of my whips while watching them. So yeah, I've got some ch just a few changes. You know, summertime's good because there's not the the series are done for the season. But I also like to watch Chris Chang and Julia's Passion, and I like coloring along with them. So, I don't know. I'm just... You know me, I like to just chatter away and... A lot of times they're just my thoughts out loud. And you guys always give me good insight. And yesterday I was on Facebook and there was a f someone posted in a few groups that a family member of a color tuber 
said that it can now be we can now be told of her passing. So if any of you had watched Orion Girl 93, she passed away back in January. I do not know why they didn't say, but the family member told this person that they could now let us know. I am very shocked we lost another colorist. And I'm like, you know what? I haven't seen anything from her. I remember leaving messages before. And now that, you know, I got thinking about it, she has been quiet. Okay, I'm going back in with Lilac. I'm going back over that. No, I'm not doing Lilac. Don't listen to me. Going back in with Eggplant. I'm kind of blending that those two together so if you ever watched her videos and we're wondering where she is that is what happened and like I said I don't know how she died I just know she died January 19th I've been watching Kate's Color in Haven. She's been coloring in Spooky Sweets for Carla Majana. Also, if you guys want to join, there is a new coloring group for Carla Majana. And I did not write it down. But um, it is owned by Martina and Kate and Kate, Nia, and I are admins and moderators. So if you like color in any of Carla's coloring books, please join us. And I will try to remember to put the link down below for the group. We will be having color lawns. I think we will run them every two weeks. There is an album for each of the coloring books. So you can put your finishes in those albums. Well, these did not come out quite the way I thought they would, but they're okay. They're okay. So we'll go down here on these two. And we'll do the same thing. Lilac.
Okay. And today I ordered, I went on the Harry Potter store because I had taken the house quiz last year probably and I am a Hufflepuff and I thought, you know what, I would like some pajamas or not, yeah, they're loungewear pajamas. And they had a t I bought a t shirt and pajama bottoms of Hufflepuff. This is eggplant. And I bought a coffee mug. I don't think I'm going to use it for coffee though. I think I'm going to have it in here um, and have my pens in it. This would be like a uh, um, a pen stand. I think that's what I'm going to do. And I bought a Hufflepuff pen and journal. I don't know what I will use a journal for, but Just wanted to have a few things of Hufflepuff I can have in here. As you already know, I've also got Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> night before Christmas the nightmare before Christmas that that is the theme in here but I wanted some Hufflepuff stuff and then today I got in I had used some of my YouTube money and ordered some stencils from scrapbook.com They came in today, so you will see them in my Happy Mail haul. Okay, going in with lavender. And of course, we said goodbye to Luke Perry. He played Dylan McKay in Beverly Hills 90210. And he played in Riverdale. And his character, Dylan, on 90210 is how I got my son Dylan's name because I was a big fan of the show and I thought Luke Perry was hot and so I liked the character Dylan McKay still is really sad that he passed said he had a massive stroke and I don't think he was into the drugs so I know there's probably speculation that he was but I don't believe he was 
<clears throat> okay, we're going back in with eggplant. Just kind of blending these two in. I think he was just like one of those actors that kind of stayed clean or at least wasn't in the limelight and if he was I forgot about it I know his character in 90210 was but I don't think he was Okay, and back in with lilac. So this is how I'm going to do the rest of the snowflakes. I don't think you need to see me keep doing them on camera. So let's move on to, we're going to call it the moon. Because we're going to do night sky, I think. So let's move on to that. Okay, and it doesn't come down in here, it's only up here. So we are going to take our sunflower. And... Do the sunflower. Probably could have used marker in here. since it's such a big area, but we'll just keep working in circles, blending it out, can do a couple layers. I should have done that first before the snowflakes so we didn't get the dark color in the yellow but that's okay it'll still come out nice So who else is doing this color lawn? And if you are, 
what Molly Harrison are you coloring? And if you're not, what are you coloring? And are you doing other color alongs? I did do I started Halloween for Sammy's. I'm just doing real simple ones um, with markers for right now. I do want to eventually do like a Jasmine Becca Griffith Halloween one. Or maybe just pull a crew color in heaven. Halloween book. I don't know yet. Or we'll just do a Molly Harrison Halloween one because I do plan on doing one after this one's done. So I have a couple of her Halloweens. Now I know my battery is getting low says I have 26 minutes left on my battery okay so we have that color now let's go in with pumpkin kind of bring that pumpkin color and fade it Fade it. No, just and we'll do glitter there. Kind of fade it out. Now I gotta do a little bit of shading where there's shadows. Fade it.
So we have not really had any snow all week. We've had a little bit like a light dusting, but it has still been really cold in the teens and 20s. And last night was single digits. Still been very, very cold out. And then when, when it's breezy out, it makes it even worse. Okay, now we're going back in with a sunflower. <clears throat> And just keep going in circular motions. And next month, I'm going to have to order some more pencil cases because I have quite a few tins that need pencil cases. And I still need to get my super colors all in order. And I need to get my Artezas in a pencil tin. I think my, were my other Artezas put in a pencil case? They might have been. But now I need one because now I have them all. And then um, I'll use the other ones for backup. yeah I still have I have a color tuber tag I need to make a video of and I still have to do a tiny tin tag <laughs> that Dollar Diva 99 had tagged me in a couple months ago and I never made My video so I still need to do that so now that I'm feeling better I can get some videos made cuz while I'm still waiting for Amber to find out when she starts her new job. I um I have all this time now. Okay, so there is that. And we are going to say goodbye for now because my battery is going to die. So off camera I am going to finish the other snowflakes. Oops, wrong way. I will finish the other snowflakes and then we will finish the picture on screen which won't take long because 
we have to go in with some glitter you know you have to glitter it up and then we have to do the blue on the background so stay tuned for a new episode of what's new in Shaleen's neck of the woods and I will talk to y'all later my peepers bye bye